guys, how's it going? Hey guys, here from HUI Utilities, and today I'm going to be resuming the Hackintosh tutorial. Um, I kind of stopped midway. I was supposed to be making a video a few days ago, and then I started procrastinating. So that's why you didn't see a video come out. But anyway, let's get started. So, first things first, um, you need to actually <laughs> install Mavericks, which I forgot to mention in the last video. Um, so what you need to do is just, while booting up your PC, hit F12, and then it will ask you to select your boot options. There it will say BIOS Setup. Just go down there and hit Enter. And then you want to scroll to the right, and then go down, and where it says Secure Boot, you want to turn that off, under Boot. And then you want to go all the way to the right again, Save, and Exit. And then keep hitting F12 until you can see your USB. Then just go down again, hit Enter, and then uh, navigate to where it says Mavericks Installer, whatever you call your USB, and then hit dash X space dash V and hit enter. After that, it sh should start booting, and then you select your language, go to utilities, go to disk utility, format your hard drive, not all your hard drive, the partition you made, as OS 10 extended journaled, and hit apply, and then after that, you can uh, now just go through the installer, install it, create a user account, and you'll be back um, here. Now, you may be thinking, hey, Hitix got his Mac working. Why isn't mine booting? Um, well, I've actually had to go and install all of the components because I need you guys to get the best quality, and frankly, my camera cannot do the job because it's 4AP. But nonetheless, we're here. So, what you need to do is you need to boot back into your installer and then you want to go and just boot back into the... Did I say boot back into the installer twice? Okay, right, you want to boot back into the installer with the same um, arguments, minus x, space, minus v and then you want to go this time to terminal. So, I've got terminal here, um, comes pre-installed in every Mac. Anyway, hit terminal and what you want to do now is you want to type cp minus r slash volumes with a capital V oops slash sys oh no slash mavericks uh backslash installer oops can't spell slash now uh substitute mavericks installer for whatever you call your USB and if you're looking for the backslash key, um, that's for separate words. If you've got your USB as one word, it, you won't need the backslash. But um, if you want the backslash on a Windows keyboard, it's actually the hash key. So yeah, there. And then you want to type system slash extensions slash. But everything has to be capitals and exact here. Um, extension slash. Uh, Apostrophe fake with the uh, uh, capital F SMC capital SMC and then close your apostrophe and then you want to go to press space slash volumes slash uh, Macintosh um, forward slash backslash forward slash backslash black slash um, HDD now substitute Macintosh HD for whatever you call your hard drive and then you want to go system with a capital S I don't know why system library slash extensions slash and then you hit enter and if the errors don't come up then you've done something right if the errors do come up, just make sure you've typed this in exactly as I have. Let me just double check I've typed it in correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's fine. So, after that, um, it'll come up with a blank pseudo. And you, what you want to do is you just want to hit the up key. And mine won't work because I haven't put uh, anything in. But after that, you just want to go back and just remove fake smc.kext. And then you want to type in Apple with a capital A. Intel with a capital I, CPU or capitals, power man management dot text and hit enter again. Provided you get no errors, you've done everything right. 
So after you've done that, you can uh, reboot your PC, and then you can go back into the Mavericks installer, and this time, Mavericks installer USB, don't boot back into the installer. Um, and this time, what you can do is you can now uh, boot into your newly made Macintosh HDD with the boot flags minus X and minus V because we're just setting it up and it won't work for first time round. After that, we'll get everything sorted. So now what you want to do when you're at the desktop and after you've um, gone through the setup process and made your user account um, is you need to open up... Com oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Um, need to open up Kex Utility. Simple program, put your password in if you... Well, you have actually. And then wait for everything to be finished. It'll say have a good day in brackets tonight and thank you for using one whatnot. And then what you want to do is you want to go into your extensions folder and copy fakesmc.kex, apple intel cp power management.kex, apple apic.kex, apple ahci port.kex, and apple acpi platform.kex. And you just want to drag this over into here and release. I'm not going to do that because this case utility takes like 20 minutes to do it. But not not literally. Um, depends on your system. But um, after that's done, uh, you can just close out of this, and then you can open up Mavericks Installer again. And this time you can go to Multi Beast and Multi uh, open it up. Then you hit Continue, Continue, Agree to the terms, Agree, and then you want to open up Drivers and Bootloaders, Drivers, Audio, Realtek ALC without DSDT, ALC eighty-eight seven stroke 888b and you want to hit version 10302 current and you want to close audio and trying not to forget anything I'm just going through them network you need to tick the real tech links to max uh, oops don't do that because you'll end up crashing your system probably you don't need anything in your system now Here's the important part. If you want to install to your hard drive, which I strongly, strongly don't recommend if you're running a dual boot um, setup, you, you shouldn't do this step, and you should install it to uh, a 1 gig USB if you have it. Otherwise, you will need to install it to your uh, hard drive. Now, the problem with this is that Chimera isn't actually capable of booting Windows 8. It's not so. You need you probably want to get a cheap one gig USB and then install a Chameleon bootloader like we did to this uh, installer with the same thing. But if you if you're running just OS ten, what you can do is open up bootloaders. Oh no, you don't want to do that actually. <laughs> just want to hit continue. Can install. Put your password in and then let it install, but I'm not going to do that since I've done it. Then what you want to do is, I've forgotten to do this, but, well, uh, uh, the Ethernet um, setup will come up. Just keep doing that and then restart it. And then what you want to do is, you want to go into System Preferences, open up Network, and I'll just quickly remove this show you how to do it. The Ethernet won't be there, you just need to hit plus, or if it is there, just remove it. Go to Interface, Ethernet, and then call it EN0. Uh, the reason will be, I'll, I'll tell you in a bit, um, just go back and make sure it connects. So after that, you can exit out of that. And then you want to open up Safari, and you want to download um, Chameleon. Um, the links will be in the description. I'm not going to waste time doing that. And then after that, you can just install it to that one gig USB. Um, if it's formatted as Windows, you want to go to Spotlight, type in Disk Utility. Oops, why did I do that? Um, type in Disk Utility. And then you want to just select the parent of the USB. Just hit Erase, Mac OS 6, and then General. Type whatever you want, and then hit Erase, and then it will work. And then you can open up Chameleon's installer and then install it to the hard uh, flash drive. So now that you've done that, um, there's not much to do. Um, I guess the last thing is just customization, and Chameleon Wizard is what you need. So 
here's the thing if you've installed chameleon onto your usb um it would, the, they would have created an extra folder here now if you installed it to your hard drive you just you want to go to finder hit preferences hit hard disk go to your hard drive and open up extra you might want to drag it into the sidebar just to make sure you never you, you never lose it so after you can close it out um but what you can do after that is extra will be here and yeah so close out extra and what you want to do is you want to go to org.chameleon.boot and you want to hit open and go to extra mine is on my mavericks installer in the extra folder up here and then you want to take ethernet built in and you want to take restart fix and graphics enabler and then that's it and then you want to save and then what you want to do is go to SM BIOS, hit open. Mine is in the Macintosh hard drive. If it's not there, you'll have to create one. There's a couple of tutorials on the internet. It's quite simple. And then open it. And then you want to hit edit. Now, I tend not to use pre-made BIOSes just because of the fact that mine, my system specs are newer than these Macs. But what you could do is go to Apple's website, find the specs closest to your PC, and enter the model number here. So, you know, here you can do that, put whatever you want in, and then, but mine is currently, oops, where did I do that? Mine is this, um, Core i5, yeah, so, and then you put that in, and then you just put, generate a random number, and here, you just put your max um, CPU speed, so that's your highest speed. Then you just hit next and save. So after that, you can close out Chameleon Wizard and open up your Mavericks installer. Go to Extra. All but Chameleon not boot is I have to open it with um, text edit because I've got uh, Excel installed. Now I'm not sure if we've already done this, but legacy logo. If you like the old grey Apple logo, you'll need to put. Uh, this code in if you like if you like it you don't have to um graphics enabler has to be no ethernet built in yes and then just hit save i'm going to delete this folder and then what you need to do is we're gonna want to fix our imessage because that's not currently working so what you need to do is you need to go back into your mavericks installer Go to extras, create a new folder and call it modules. And you need to paste this in. Link will be in the description. And then um, this just helps enable iMessage on Hackintoshes. So after you've done that and you'll have to restart your PC, um, you can go into messages and sign in with your Apple ID. And then it'll work. So I guess that's it. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, if I've missed anything out, and or if you're confused or something's not working, uh, just drop a comment down in the comment section, um, and I'll try my best and hopefully answer it and solve your problems. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. I don't know how long it's going to turn out, but yeah. So as always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Thanks for watching.